How is it going ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to World of Tanks. Today I am back with yet another tank review episode and in today's episode I am going to show you our first official tank from Poland, our first official Polish tank. Uh, why I say first official is because, as we all know, Rudy is in the game as well, and it is kind of a Polish vehicle, but under the uh, Soviet tech tree. But this time we get one tank with Polish flag, with Polish crew members, uh, food and whatnot, uh, some emblems and inscriptions as well. And of course, guys, this is tier 6 premium medium tank called Budo. So seems like Poland is huge fan of pets. But now let's get into the action and let's talk about our main guest today, which is of course their 6 premium medium tank Budo. And now today you are not going to see anything super special or anything for the first time, because this tank is actually regular Panther, stock Panther. Like, take every single upgrade away from tier 7 Panther, you get this tank with a little bit less hit points. Just take a look over here, and as you can see, we have quite a few tier 6 premium medium tanks in this game, and I believe I do not have every single tier 6 premium medium tank in this lineup. Uh, but uh, what I wanted to show you guys, and by the way, of course, we have Rudy over here as well. Uh, but what I wanted to show you guys is this. So this is Poodle, this is tier 6 premium medium tank Poodle, and this is stock. Panther. As you can see, everything is stock without any equipment, uh, what not, everything is stock. And take a look at uh, those stats, guys. Average damage per shot, exactly the same, 135. Penetration, 150, yes. Rate of fire, 14.9 rounds per minute. And by the way, all those stats are with 100% uh, crew. Uh, but after this uh, little introduction to this vehicle, I am going to show you uh, how beast this tank can be, as well with good crew and equipment and so on. Reload time is 4.03 seconds, which is pretty decent for a 135 alpha damage gun. Uh, Traverse speed 31.29 degrees per second, which is one of the slowest ones, as we can see. Cromwell B is bloody crazy, and Cromwell B has bloody crazy DPM as well. Uh, but let's move on. Condepression is okay, minus 8 degrees of condepression, which is really good actually, and 18 degrees of con elevation, and it is on the better side, as we can see. Uh, what is Rudy, by the way? Rudy has uh, really high alpha damage, 180. And minus 7 degrees of condepression, 22 degrees of con elevation. So Rudy is one beast of a tier 6 premium medium tank as well. But moving on, aiming time 2.21 seconds, accuracy 0.34, and average damage per minute is 2012 damage per minute, which is... Quite the okay DPM as we can see compared to the old rest of the guys. Rudy has a lot lower DPM, uh, a little bit better aiming time and a little bit worse accuracy. So gun handling uh, on Poodle is not too bad, it is actually on the better side. I like this aiming time which is quite okay. Like you can see pretty average, we have some uh, 2.01 seconds on Thunderbolt on uh, AC4 experimental. I think was the full name or something like that. But uh, next up, let's talk about survivability. Hit points 840, which is by far the highest amount of HP. You can see all the rest of the guys, uh, 730, 700, 750, 720, 700, 750, uh, 720, but 840. This is really good for a tier 6 premium. A medium tank armor is really good as well, exactly the same as on a tier 7 Panther, as we can see, because this is stock tier 7 Panther with different skin 85 50 and 40 and turret armor 145 and 45 and turret armor is not the best but hull armor is actually uh, the best oh no 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 thunderbolt 123 millimeters thick armor frontal ar uh, hull armor not too bad but side armor is garbage so it can uh, get some awesome splash damages from the RT and turret is a lot weaker as well but it has one gun mantle that can block stuff, maybe. 
but overall survivability on Poodle, high amount of HP and decent armor that actually can bounce some tier 5 guns and maybe tier 6 guns as well if you are lucky. But of course your um, lower plate is uh, the biggest weak spot and easily penetrable by every single tank that can face you. And so watch out for that. So this tank is 44.24 tons heavy tank with a 700 horsepower engine. So a better engine than the stock engine on Panther. So this is a little upgrade. Uh, power to weight ratio 15.82 horsepower per ton compared to the, all the rest of the guys. Uh, Cromwell has better, Skoda D40 has better and that is it. Yeah, that is it, so not too bad. And you are actually going to see that on the battlefield as well. It is going to achieve its 55 kph top speed quite easily. So top speed is 55 km per hour, uh, reverse speed 20 kph and tank traverse speed 31.29 degrees per second, which is exactly the same as a turret traverse speed. Interesting, interesting. Uh, concealment uh, of stationary vehicle 10.94, uh, on moving vehicle 8.61, uh, view range 370 meters, which is super standard. Yes, all the rest of the guys 370, 370, 350, 60, 70, 70, 70. Signal range is always, as always, standard 700. And I believe that is it. This was Poodle on paper with 100% crew compared to the other tier 6 premium medium tanks and compared to the stock tier 7 Panther as well. Because this tank is a stock Panther. Uh, do not forget that with a little bit less HP. Uh, so here you can see that special camo. This is what you get. You are not able to use any other camos, any other Polish camos if we are going to get any in the future. This is what you you get and this is what you have to live with. Uh, so Poodle over here, nice paint pattern. I actually quite like it. It looks pretty damn awesome. It looks pretty damn awesome. So some other details over here. Yeah, not too bad. Kind of a sand camo, if I may say so. Uh, for Sand River map, uh, for El Halouf and so on. But now, as you can see, we have full Polish crew over here in the game. And uh, Polish premium food as well. A bread with uh, Smolak or Smolets. I still do not know how to pronounce it correctly. Uh, but uh, for the testing purposes, I am not going to use any food. But uh, just to see how beast this vehicle can be, uh, I am going to add food as well. So I have situational awareness activated I have recon skill I have brothers in arms I am using a medium caliber tank on rammer coated optics and ventilation because I am not able to use any vertical stabilizers over here on this vehicle otherwise I would do that but this is a tier 6 premium medium tank and I am not able to use it over here so coated optics medium caliber tank on rammer and ventilation as well so now, before jumping into the battle, let's see how beast this vehicle can be without using any improved equipment units or any directives. Just my beast crew, my equipment loadout and food as well. Uh, so reload time from 4.04 seconds if I remember correctly to 3.32 second reload time which is really awesome. Aiming time 2.02 seconds, accuracy 0 0.31 from 0 0.34, uh, aiming time was 2.21 seconds and average damage per minute 2438 is also bloody damn awesome and for some reason ventilation boost is not showing up. Oh, it is actually, yeah, uh, plus 51. And uh, tank traverse speed 38.5 degrees per second. <laughs> okay, so a lot of extra turning speed thanks to my crew members. But now I believe it is time to jump into some live gameplay action with this tank. Let's play a couple of battles. And I am going to play this tank with this loadout. My reload time is slightly longer, aiming time slightly longer, not an accurate vehicle, but I think it is still pretty decent. So, let's go. Alrighty, let's see how this goes. Uh, I am going to play one live battle for you as well. It doesn't matter how good or bad I am doing. Hopefully I'm not going to suck too much. 
but I would simply like to show you how this uh, tank feels on the battlefield because I believe this is what you are interested about, uh, how this tank feels and plays as well. Now you have already seen some gameplay action on the background. So one live battle for the end of the episode as well and goodbye Cromwell B. Of course this guy is bloody fast, uh, feels like I am exactly the same as VK3002M. Yep, we are moving together. Seems like same engine, same engine power and all that. And now I am on the bottom of the food chain of course, so we have to be careful, I have to pick my fights. How many medium tanks are we going to get over here? M4190GF goes down already. This is kinda bad, this is kinda bad. I am waiting for Super Bershing. Super Bershing is our savior, or can be our savior. Boom! Quick shot. Let's go back. As I said, I have to pick my fights. Enemy team has T29 over here as well. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. T29. Hull down T29. He's devastating. Super Bershing in action. Let's try to help him out. No, 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 no. Cromwell. Nice. One more shot. Goes in. And now... If we can kill that SDA-2, we should focus that SDA-2 actually. Or Super Bershing should focus that SDA-2. D29 took the shot. I don't know going to give that get tracked because I think I'm not able to penetrate that D29 under angle like this. I feel like I'm playing like a little sissy boy. Lower plate, nice penetration. I think he took the shot, so let's go for the lower plate kill. D3485. Cromwell needs one more shot. I think. Let's pick Cromwell, yep, Amorak. Just before going down he was able to destroy my Amorak. Some quick shots in. Nice, okay. Okay, so we cleared the hill. AMX will T. He's able to penetrate me most likely under every single angle. And done. And victory! Okay, so that battle was really quick. I guess I am going to play one more battle because you were not able to see anything how this tank works. Maybe, maybe something. But I played as I had to play. Feels like it at least. Because tier 6 versus tier 8s and 7s. Of course, this is not the best place to be in. Uh, so, I catch you in my next battle as well. Oh, quickly, let's see how much credits for 1000 battle. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, let's say 20 or 32,000 credits. Because on my main account, I am playing with uh, large repair kits, large first aid kits. Because I have just so many of them. And I do not have to waste any credits on that. Uh, so, 32,000 credits for 1000 damage. Yeah, let's move on. And once again, I am on the bottom of the food chain, so matchmaking is not the easiest for me at the moment at least. Uh, matchmaking is not... is uh, pretty rough with me, I can say that. Uh, but uh, still, let's see, let's try our best. Let's try to do as much work as possible. Scorpion G, I really do not want to trade shots with Scorpion G, so I better have to... Or I think I have to wait it out. Scorpion G, I think he was able to spot me thanks to my epic commander hatch. That is a weak spot, but uh, your entire turret is almost a weak spot. So do not worry about that too much. Now that Scorpion G actually messed up my positioning. Nope. Oh, nice. Ooh, I bounced Scorpion G. I bounced Scorpion G, guys. I have seen everything. So, if you are lucky, you can bounce stuff with this tank. Wow. Okay, that was surprising. Boom. Okay, let's hide. Sneaky, sneaky. 
So you're able to see at least how this tank feels versus tier 8. And uh, do you know how I feel? I feel scared. I feel scared to shitness. This is just too scary and spooky. Okay, TPM, our TPM with uh, M4A3 E2 should be almost, almost the same. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Light tank, nice, light tank has been destroyed. Did I get some assistance for that as well? Oh shit, let's not try that again. Easy penetration into the side. Where is that A44? A44 has been spotted. Let's try to take him out. Oh, this guy has been tracked and killed. Awesome. Sneaky bastard. I am one sneaky bastard in this matchmaking. Let's see. My opportunity. Yes, my opportunity to go in. I think I'm not going to use any H ammunition versus that guy. Oh, he used the repair kit. And he's trying to ram me, I think. So let's try to kill him without receiving any more damage. Who was able to pick up the kill? Not me. God damn it. Hellcat. Done. Type 64. Picking up kills, cleaning, doing some cleanup work. Not too bad of a battle. Ooh, nice snapshot by that Type 64. And nice reaction shot by me. Actually, not so nice. Ah, I do not have enough gun depression, so let's reposition. I am going to forget about uh, Type 64 for now. And let's see if I'm able to help out my teammates. I think I have to play together with them. Nice, 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 nice. I'm going to load in premium round for that uh, jumbo. Boom. And I bounced Tiger 1. On the other side, Tiger 1 is going to be over here. He's coming in from here. Yes, he is. Let's be aggressive. Boom. First shot was a premium shot, and all the rest of the shots I can kill that guy with regular rounds easily. Nice, this battle is awesome. This battle is pretty awesome. Should be good enough or good credit profit battle. T3485 has 180 alpha damage, I think. I'm waiting for my big boys to move in. Because he can actually kill me. Boom. And... Let's go in like that. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, I have better DPM and done, okay. Five kills, guys, five kills, not too bad. Really good battle, actually, for this tank. Let's see. Oh, what do you know, Ace Tanker as well for the end of the episode and the Lefes Lajos medal. Destroy two enemy tanks or tank destroyers with a medium tank. In one battle, the enemy vehicle must be at least one tier higher, okay. Awesome, I take that medal, and I was top damage done and top experience in tier 8 battle. In really tough tier 8 battle actually, enemy team had Scorpion G that I was able to take out actually. So yeah, poodle, ladies and gentlemen, tier 6, our first official uh, tier 6 Polish uh, tank in this game. Uh, now, is it worth it? Uh, well, as I said many times already, it is nothing special. It is Stock Panther. If you would like to make more credits with Stock Panther, if you enjoy playing with Stock Panther, this tank is for you. And of course, the main reason to buy this tank is to start training your Polish crew members. I believe this is the most important thing at the moment about this vehicle, because all the rest of the things are pretty average. And if you would like to hear some Polish uh, crew sounds as well, then this tank is for you. But guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode, this uh, little review about uh, tier 6 Poodle, and let me know what you think about this tank. I thank you for tuning in, enjoy your weekend, take care, and bye.